uh, point out was a trailer that I, a movie trailer that I just saw. God, it's upsetting. It is. Uh... Uh, talked about it. On, it was mentioned on KMS today um, when I was in there. I had not seen the trailer yet, though. And there's a uh, a lot of things about. It. I am. I will say the one saving grace, I suppose, that I've heard is it's supposed to be a parody of all the bio, you know, like the Steve Jobs biopics and all that kind of stuff. So it is, I guess, in its nature, a parody. I just don't know if Seinfeld, that's the thing is like Seinfeld pulled off one artistic project. Like Seinfeld is the, to me, the greatest sitcom of all time. And really the only thing that I think rivals it would be Curb Your Enthusiasm. Uh, in my, I, I mean, I, you know, uh, another generation would probably say all in the family, obviously, but to me, it's Seinfeld. Um, but then that's it. Then you have B movie. And I don't know what else he's even like really tried other than stand up, uh, which you guys know my thoughts on that. Go check out why you laughing. But this is this is what Netflix has has paid for. It's what Jerry has been talking about for years. How long have we heard about this fucking project? The Pop Tart movie. I didn't know this was a thing. Oh, well, you're missing out, my friend. I've been hearing about it for a long time since before the pandemic. I think um, I thought I heard Jerry talking about it, but yes. He is finally tackling the world of Pop Tarts in Unfrosted. So let's get into the trailer. I feel like I'm going to have to pause this because Netflix is going to nuke this episode. <laughs> so, playing a trailer? Uh, probably. We're promoting you, dickheads. Yeah. All right, that might do it, actually. <laughs> that might have just switched everything. <laughs> hey, numbskulls, <laughs> we're promoting you. <laughs> Don't you get it? I believe we have split the atom of breakfast. In the early 1960s, the American morning was defined by milk and cereal. And the two undisputed giants of the cereal world were Kellogg's and Post. So it's being, it's already, it's presented as like a documentary, kind of? Yeah. That's how he's presenting it, but I imagine hijinks ensue. There is a casting choice that prompted me to send this to you, and it really bugs me. It's, Do you know what I'm talking about or no? The female? No. We'll see. Okay. World. The Post Cereal Company has reportedly invented a shelf-stable fruit pastry breakfast product. No. Yeah. Boy. Is that uh, the newscaster? Is that what's-his-face that does... Um... That the the Instagram show of Metzger, Kyle Dunnigan. That's what it looks like. Oh, I don't know. I didn't recognize him by the voice, but I think I think that's him. I have to look that up. His host. They did it. I'm about to finally crush. Yeah, again, Schumer. Kate that never stops glaring at me. I don't think Post did it. There's always a surprise inside the box. I'm just say you Xanthan gum. Xanthan. Okay. Now, <sighs> did you catch that? No. What do you mean? He just did the Newman thing. <laughs> no, he didn't. Yes, he did. Go back. He did it with the fist and everything. He didn't say Newman, right? No. He did a different word. But what did he say? Point. I missed it. They use Xanthan gum. Xanthan. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Could that be? There's no way Jerry forgot that he did that, right? <laughs> no, that was on purpose. For yeah, sure. I, that's not just a coincidence. No. Oh, that is gross. <laughs> what is the Kellogg's guy going to slide into the room? <laughs> <laughs> Jerry? <laughs> <laughs> did you see what Post is doing? <laughs> I'm going to do a full roll up, Jerry. <laughs> he's going he's gonna to roll fruit roll ups too tight. Tony the Tiger's getting upset. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I hope that's not it. That was, I mean, people with sight, correct me if I'm wrong here. <laughs> the Lucky Charms leprechaun pushes him. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, who told you to put the sugar on? I didn't tell you to put the sugar on. <laughs> it never ends. <laughs> 
Can you tell us about the uh, the uh, fruit filling of these pop tarts? They're real <laughs> and they're spectacular. Oh no! <laughs> oh god! That oh, one. Could... Please don't do that to my favorite show ever. That one could happen. <laughs> Oh, it's real and it's spectacular. You're right. <laughs> oh, God, this is disturbing. How do you think Post did it? There's always a surprise inside the box. I'm just saying, Xanthan gum. Xanthan. Oh. Kellogg's is entering the race to reinvent breakfast. And what we're, I'll tell you what worries me is they put it in the trailer as if to be like, get ready. Hey, Seinfeld fans. You guys want Jerry to be Jerry? Hmm? Oh, man. Twin, Jeff Boyardee, and Jack LaLanne. They're stacking the deck with ringers. Hey, you know Isaiah Lamb from Quaker? You Kellogg's people. We're about to have some very powerful people very upset. You have to win. Are you making any progress? Okay, yeah. that. Who is that? Who is it? Why, um, it's John F. Kennedy, of course. Oh, why? You don't know who it is? No. You don't know who's playing that character? No, can I not? Go back a little bit. I'm staring right at him. Oh, you know him quite well. Why is this so difficult? Play it again, and we'll see if you get it, and then I'll, I'll, I'll shed a little light on it for you. Very upset. You have to win. Are you making any progress? It's not just you don't know who that is? What are you guys, five years old? Is that Bill Burr? You bet your bippy it is, friend. Stop it. As John F. Kennedy. Oh, I had to see his face a certain way, and I went, oh, that's Bill Burr. <laughs> this feels like a terrible SNL sketch where they just got everyone, mm. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I can't wait to see Shane Gillis. Shane Gillis would be the leprechaun. Oh, Bill Burr as JFK. Mm. Now, he's definitely going to make like a, um, I'm so stressed my head could explode joke or something <laughs> <laughs> i'm getting a headache yeah <laughs> why have a boston guy do like the idea is that bill burr has a boston accent i guess but then why make him do the jfk voice it's a different accent yeah i have no idea <laughs> all right let me let me watch let me drink this whole part in in full yeah you have to win are you making any progress it's not to scale but <laughs> What are you guys, five years old? Little John John draws better than that. All right. I think there's something oh. wrong with him. <laughs> All right. had, I, had I got that far, I oh. would have guessed. He Little didn't John John, he's going to pilot school. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody said this was going to be easy. We're talking about happy childhoods for millions of American kids. The important thing it's a Pop Tart for the rest of us. I think they'll do an entire it doesn't even fit the line. Do an, an entire episode from like, the lobby. <laughs> <laughs> I yelled, "Caught right!" <laughs> do you think there'll be there'll be there'll be a chunk of this movie where they get lost in the assembly the assembly line somewhere and they can't find each other? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. This mm. looks rough. Goose. What? No. Heat them up and eat them up. No sale. Oblong nibblers. Is this a joke? <laughs> Whoever gets to the shelves first is going to win this. There is hey. so many people in this movie. Someone someone goes into uh, Jerry's office. As it's, uh, hey, you, with, with this new branding, you don't seem very stressed. Oh, I'm stressed. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm stressed. <laughs> him and the guy from Kellogg switch apartments and it causes him to switch personalities. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to catch Jim Gaffigan eating a rival company cereal. <laughs> Vile cereal. <laughs> Vile grain. <laughs> now, <sighs> was, that the, was that the end? No. Let's, let's I, wrap it up here. All right. What, do you, what were you going to say? I think there is a shot. I enjoy this. I agree. I think it's more likely we're doing an entire episode about it on Patreon. Yeah. yeah. Yes. But yes, I think there's a chance if it's making fun of other biopics, there's a chance I enjoy it. I just don't know 
It's Jerry and the other people who wrote B-Movie, apparently. I was going to say it's written and directed by Seinfeld, so. I, yeah, I have my doubts. Yeah, is he, is he going to be like, I, uh, I started this, this, this pop tart thing just to get trim on, <laughs> instead of, like, instead of Facebook. <laughs> the man! How did it get this far? It's breakfast. Things happen. All right, no, I'm going to hate this. Isn't this a cereal company? Why did my husband explode? It's a Junior Mint. <laughs> it's a Pop-Tart Mini. <laughs> I'm... Pop-Tarts, Jerry, they're delicious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's disappointing. So... <laughs> Someone's gonna they're gonna do a tail. Oh, dude, I can see so many things that they legitimately could do. He already did the Newman thing. I, I, he, that's got to be the only one. Which I don't know why they would do that. Come on, but is it, doesn't he? Wait, is it Newman? Who's he said? Newman. Here? Yeah. I thought it was someone else. Anyway, uh, well, it wasn't <laughs> Mickey. But, <laughs> I thought there was someone else. I know he went like. Oh no, you're right. Um, but like I could see them doing like taste testing. And someone being like, yeah, I really like this. And then someone snapping and someone else taking it and going, no tarts for you. I suppose you could swivel. <laughs> they're gonna be, they're now I'm just pop- doing Tuesdays with stories. Yeah, they're going to have the Pop-Tart Nazi, and it's going to be sad. Oh, yeah, no cereal for you. That's very possible. Something like that. Uh. Uh, Uncle Leo, what are you doing here? <laughs> He's going to walk in. Just Jerry, hello. He's got to be dead, right, Uncle Leo? <laughs> yeah. Thank God. Sure. Thank God he didn't live to see this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So keep an eye out for that. May 3rd, apparently. We'll all be watching on Netflix. Uh, very exciting. 